Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Link MRI. And this is a 31-year-old female who fell about two months ago. Has had wrist pain ever since. She got x-rays and they look normal. The only thing of note is that the ulna is a little bit shorter than it should be. This is the radius and normally the ulna is just a little bit shorter. And there's a little horizontal piece of uh, cartilage here or fibrocartilage that goes across. And normally the gap here is a little bit smaller. When it's too long, it will impact into the lunate bone here and cause trouble. And when it's too short, there'll be abnormal stress on the lunate bone because the radius articulates with the lunate bone and this load here is abnormally high because the ulna is not further out distributing some of that stress across the ulna. Here it's all on the lunate bone. So we would say there's a mildly negative ulnar variance and we're going to look at that lunate bone now. On this view, we see that the um, carpal bones are here. This is the scaphoid bone, lunate bone, and this is a triketral bone. And you can see that this bone is a little bit different. These are called gradient echo images. They give some unusual signal. We don't really look at the bones in this, these very much. But we can see that this bone does look a little bit different than the other bones. So we're going to look at that more closely on these other images. Here we have three sequences. This is called a T1-weighted sequence and marrow should be bright so we see for example the distal radius is really bright the ulna is bright they look fantastic but we see again that that lunate bone is a little bit different than the other ones there's a little dark spot over here in the corner which is not normal and if we look on this view over here this is a fat suppressed pro density sequence marrow should be nice and homogeneous but instead we see some very subtle patchy brightness right there we also see that the ulna is a little bit short and so this space here is widened. This is the triangular fiber cartilage. It's a little bit thicker, so it can be compensatorily thickened. When we have a negative ulnar variance, we do not see a tear. A little bit of fluid in this distal radial ulnar joint. So in the end, we're left with the negative ulnar variance with the compensatory thickening here, and we have some very subtle signal changes within this bone, the lunate bone. So the patient could have had an impaction injury a couple months ago, just bruised this or contused it, and it could look like this, but more likely this is what we call Kienbach disease or lunatomalacia or early avascular necrosis of the lunate bone. And when uh, patients get this, it's, it's often associated with a negative ulnar variance. There's abnormal stress on the lunate bone because the radius puts um, all the load right on it. And then you can get uh, a non-displaced little subtle microfracture and disruption of the blood supply. And this can go on to avascular necrosis. Now, in the very earliest changes, it'll look completely normal. And then we'll go on to this. This is probably stage one, where you see some very mild signal changes within it. You can see this area of darkness here. We see this very subtle patchy marrow edema. So this is just an early stage of the avascular necrosis. It's good to recognize right now. So they can immobilize, and hopefully the patient can go on to heal. As it progresses to the next stage, the lunate bone will become diffusely abnormal. It can look really dark on T1. It can, on x-ray, rather than looking normal, it will look really white um, as it gets reactive bone sclerosis. And the next stage will go on to collapse and just uh, be smaller in size. And after that, the patients will develop bad arthritic changes associated with this. So this is an example of early Kienbach disease, or which is AVN of the lunate bone, and again, it's related to this negative ulnar variance and abnormal stress here. And again, it could have been incited by that old injury if the patient did have a little subtle fracture or injury that um, was the first domino to go down to cause the signal changes. And that's it. Thank you very much.